All right, here we go, guys. Sunday, August 5th, Labor Day weekend. Two people who have never seen one of my YouTube videos, and they, they got me from Google. I saw it online. Oh, you, you saw it yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We were looking for somebody. All right. That's T. He's not from Long Island, if you can't tell. He's from North Carolina, although he told me his accent is actually Southeast Virginia. Uh, and that's Bart. And... We are going to striper fish today. I was out with Skinner yesterday. We nailed them pretty good. I'm presuming Skinner's video will be out by the time this one comes out. And will see what happens. Uh, it's a little after six. Sun's just peeking up in the distance. And hopefully we catch them. All right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that intro, a Sunday, September 5, Labor Day weekend striper trip with my customer Bart and his stepdad. T. T. is a retired North Carolina Highway Patrol officer. Um, yeah, and I joke around about my friend Louie and, and subtitles. I'm not going to use them here for T, but uh, quite the interesting accent. And, uh, you know, I also mentioned Skinner had a video out from the day before. Uh, you can see that on his channel. I probably publish it later in the winter, uh, my version of it. But yeah, we decided to do some striper fishing and later week fishing. We're fishing plum gut. Uh, you'll see some pics coming up or some video coming up of the rips in the distance. Not uh, the most pleasant area to fish. And we did two types of striper fishing here. We started three weighing and then we went to casting because the fish were blitzing on top of the surface. Hope you enjoy this video. A little different. Uh, first time I actually ever did a striper charter, believe it or not. Uh, I'm mostly fluke and blackfish, but we had a cancellation. Last minute, they wanted a half-day bay trip, and I thought this was their best option. We had a great time. Again, hope you enjoy. If you do, hit that like button, and if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. So now we are going to drop. We're going to... So you, you know about this, right? I'm gonna just keep our eye here too. Yeah, you keep your thumb on the top spool. Yeah, that's what, that's what we We're 97 feet, we're, we're gonna come up really feet. quick. When we hit bottom, we reel up twice, always. And you're gonna just keep it still. Don't jig it, don't move up and down. Just keep it still, any bump, slight bump you feel, you yank hard. If it's not a fish, two, three reels, you wanna get it off the bottom. So again, wow. So I'm feeling the bump because I got my finger on the thing. Yeah. Cause you will, you'll get caught every time if you don't do that. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that was a fish. So T, get ready. If we get a fish, I'm passing the rod to you. What's the depth? 64. And these guys had never done this type of three-way rigging and we're gonna switch to casting later, but this was a quick tutorial on how to do it. And they were quick students because on the very first drift, where they're manning their own rods, this is what happened. Steve, remember to reel up if you feel bottom. Okay. But we're gonna we're gonna actually get a little deeper and then come up. Wow, they're they're diving like crazy right behind us. We're moving right towards them. Holy blitz here! Definitely fish marking on the bottom. There you go, two fish on. Okay, nice and slow. T, you okay? Yeah. Okay, let me get the, are you keeping blue fish? No, that's a bass. All right, might be short. Let's help T out next. T's looks a little better. This guy's short, but if you want to take a picture, you got a good fish. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let him go. All right. Oh, there we go. I got him. I did pretty good, too. Yeah, a little short. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe a little more than four. Boy. That's good. I'm going to toss him in. Yeah, he's definitely short. No one else saw the front, Mark. I believe. And we did a couple more drifts after this, got a couple more bluefish. Um, but we couldn't ignore the fish diving or jumping at the surface, chasing the bait, and we decided to switch gears, pull out the spinning gear, the light action spinning gear, and try for them that way. We just 
Oh, you got one. You got one. Oh, How's it feel? <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, Bart. Hold on. Watch the trolley motor. Let me get it. Yeah, oh. I think you're hooked on something. No problem. Is it a fish There's or? A fish on there. He hit it good. I don't think that's a fish. You don't think so? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. No, I think you're on the bottom. No, that's a fish. That's a. That's a. That's a really big fish. Whatever it is. I don't know how you're gonna bring this in. Let me back you up a little. Has he got a fish? He's got a something monstrous on. He, he, Not being a wuss, he reel it in. I mean, I'm gonna back up a little, help you guys out. Oh, you got something big too. Watch the engine. I had it in gear. I just took it out of gear. Yeah, he just. Are you making any headway? Yeah. Okay. Because all I hear is drag over there. You got something big too, huh? Yeah. Wow. Second land. Second land. I got him up to the. Watch, he's... watch T's line. I can't see. T, are we sure that's a fish? I'm still not 100% convinced. It, oh. it did, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I felt it pulling and it didn't feel like you were on the bottom. I thought I had a fish. We'll re rig you. But I think, I think, uh, Bart got a fish. I got a fish. Bart has the equivalent of what you had. <laughs> there he is. The big oh. blue, I think. Every time I get him to the surface, he takes another. I didn't see any stripes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a hoss blue. That's a 10 plus. I want to know what you had on. Look at that. That's a blue fish. That's a really big one. Wow. It's fighting like a tarpon. I mean, he did the same thing. Yeah. Wow. Whew. He's not. Oh. Need to get a picture of him, boy. Yeah. Look at, look at what he, look at what he's spitting up. He's eating something adult sized. Man, slack. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're good. Oh, look at that. Oh. Woo. Nice <laughs> job. Look at this. You want to take a picture? Yeah, I do want to take a picture. I'll take it with my camera. I'll send it to you. And the more I thought about it, the more convinced I am that T had a big striper on. I know I wasn't convinced that he might be on the bottom, but I actually felt the, fil the fish pulling back. And we weren't in the part of the rip here where we're moving fast. We weren't moving that fast. And there's no way that much line and that much pull would have happened other than him having a fish on. Yeah, so real fast and then slow. Real fast. Give it like three fast reels and then slow. Three fast reels and a twitch. Yeah. Like that. Like, he's got, Bart's got the hang of this. Yeah. Woo -hoo. That that one? Oh man, is this like what, what T had or? I don't know. He's... I'm glad we switched uh, size. <laughs> Me trying to reel this thing in. Well, yeah. Right hand would have would not have been fun. This actually looks a little bassy. I'm not seeing head shakes. That'd be nice. Oh, I think I just saw a head shake. You know, when the blue shakes yeah, his head yeah, like yeah. that, you get those vibrations in the rod. Striped bass is more of like a, like dead, that, yeah. like a dead run, like dead weight. This doesn't feel like that. No, it's, it's not looking like a bluefish either. But I tell you what, if it's a bass, I don't think you could keep him. Now he's going around the boat. That's yeah. that's very bluefishy. Is he or are we just drifting in these? We are drifting, but we're going to be fine. What's up, guys? Woohoo! He doesn't feel like a bluefish previous to Any chance you foul hooked him? No, I, I wasn't. 
I mean, he's not fighting like a foul fish hook. <laughs> you want a towel? <laughs> Oh, it's definitely a bruiser, whatever it is. I just want to see him. I want to see big stripes. Oh man. Watch the engines. Yeah, just keep it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, this is big. Holy cow. Oh, it's a foul hook, big blue fish. It is foul hook. Big foul hip, foul, foul, foul hooked bluefish. That's why he's fighting like that. You got him right in the belly. Let's see if we can release him in the water. You know, technically that doesn't count as a. Man, I can't believe the bucktail held. And Bart is using an SNS John Skinner Smiling Bill type bucktail. Uh, the rod is a custom rod. Uh, the reel is a Tsunami Evic 2000 with only 10 pound braid. It's a, it's a fluke setup of mine, but it, it carries over well to this type of fishing. And after catching a few more Bruiser Bluefish, we decided to move west and try our luck at Weakfish. Oh, a weak fish! Hey, we got one! Here we go! Nice! That looks like a... Uh, yeah, it might be a keeper. Hold it up, hold it up. It's a, spe it's a special trout, it is. It's the north northeast version. There we go. Yeah, you gotta get him. And that weak fish came in at just over 17 inches. And you see me here cutting bait. Uh, maybe 15 minutes later, it was going to be Bart's turn with a really nice 20 plus inch weak fish. All right, all right, nice and easy. I'm up. All right. Ooh, Nelly. Maybe you have two. I definitely had two on before. Oh, you got a nice one. All right, bring it here. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, let's not lose them. All right. Oh, that's a, that's a nice one. I think that's, that's, this is the size we were catching all spring and summer. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you, you got him in a good spot. You aren't losing him. But look, that's why they're called weak oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Look how, look how, look at that. Nice. We can take pictures at the yeah, dock. Yeah. I had a problem on this log. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. There's the front, brother. Yeah, that right there. Twenty and a half. Twenty and a half. I believe that's bigger than the one you had, T. Yeah. Yep. Hold on, let me get a picture with him. Yeah. And you heard Bart there uh, razzing his stepdad, saying, I believe that's bigger than yours, T. That was going on all day. These guys were going back and forth. Uh, not only father and son, but true fishing friends. Great time, great fun at Plum Gut with the stripers and the bluefish, and then the weak fish, and a whole mess of porgies that we're not showing here. Um, fantastic time. Great way to spend a half day. This was a half day trip. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.